Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at Semicon West in San Francisco, and I'm joined by Bennett on the booth of Sonatech. Bennett, thanks for joining me. Start by talking us through the core technology behind the product, and then we'll look at the new products you brought to the show. Sure, Phil. The uh, core technology is the ultrasonic nozzle, and we've been around since 1975 building these. We've been in the semiconductor industry for over 10 years. Okay. Um, so what we do is we atomize photoresist or other materials um, using ultrasonic vibrations. So the tip of the nozzle is actually vibrating 120,000 times a second, okay. which creates a very repeatable small droplet size. Okay. Then we add a little bit of air, yep. I don't know if you could see, to the nozzle yep. to create a little current okay. to drive the droplets down towards the substrate. Okay, and you're demonstrating it here with... This is just with water here, yeah. yeah. Photoresist would get a little sticky. <laughs> yeah, but it's a great demo and I see people going by putting their hands Absolutely. In. So you've, you've applied this to a new product. Tell me a bit about the new product and, and what market that's, that's uh, applied to. Sure, uh, it's mostly for the MEMS industry or anytime someone has a wafer or a, uh, a product that can't be spin coated properly. Right. So there's some challenges with spin coating sometimes. Um, if you have topography or if you have too large of a substrate. Um, and if you can't get it done with spin coating, some people look towards spray coating, and we're a good solution for a lot of those people. Um, it's difficult to coat the bottom side of a trench and the side walls of a trench sometimes. So because our droplets are so small and repeatable and they're coming at different angles, we are able to conformally coat uh, MEMS and other uh, topography. The new machine is a result of listening to customers for many years ask for certain features and benefits in a machine. So we just introduced the SPT200, and it's got a lot of improvements over some of our older systems um, that were less purpose-built for the industry. Okay, so it's very much built for their specific needs. And the, and the nozzle technology, is that proprietary to you? That's something that's, that's completely unique in the marketplace? What we, what we do is we, uh, since we've been building them since 1975, there's been a lot of improvements over time. And uh, specifically, this type of head that you're seeing here is uh, specific to just us, mm. and it works very well with this industry. Yeah. Um, and we put that in that system, uh, and we couple that with some of the other features in that system, and it makes for a very repeatable coating. Yeah. Um, also, some new features of the system um, are uh, some manual wafer holding and heat control, yeah. and all this combines for very repeatable and uniform coatings, yeah. but a lot of process control, and that's what our customers were looking for. Yeah. Um, and ease of maintenance is something that we really looked towards as well. Okay, so that, that process control seems to be important to everybody with lots of people talking about IoT and the facility and that whole internet of manufacturing, industry 4.0 smart factory thing. The software you've got on there, I guess that can connect then to an MES system or whatever else to, to get that traceability through a whole product. We, um, we don't. This is more of an offline system for low volume production, uh, some R&D. Um, because it is still hand load and we're looking towards uh, our customer base to drive us where we need to be in the future but right now it's uh, not as integrated as some of the more expensive systems out there yeah. and do you see it getting into the um, into the production side of the of the industry as well and then that will be a big change in terms of Absolutely. material handling as well yeah and there's a lot of um, big really good players out there in that industry and uh, I, as of right now, we're not looking towards that, but uh, just like every product we've built in the past, we let our customers drive uh, yeah. the markets for us. Yeah. So if they say something is needed, then you'll be out there. Yeah, if customers it. asking for it, we'll build it. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, Bennett, thanks for your time. Great to meet you, and Thank we'll you. talk again. Thanks Thank a lot.